Leprechaun on the Loose by Marsha Thornton Jones. A leprechaun was loose in the classroom, and Sydney was the only one who knew it. Sydney saw teeny tiny green footprints on the floor. He followed them to the table where Mrs. Yoda had cupcakes for their St. Patrick's Day party. Sydney peeked inside the box. All the green icing had been licked off the cupcakes. Sydney set out to find that leprechaun. It was plain bad luck when he stepped on his own shoelace. Oof, whoosh, splat. Sydney fell right on the table. Sydney ruined a pretty snack, Bella Puddington told everyone when Mrs. Yoder threw away the swish box. I didn't do it, Sydney said. It was the leprechaun. An itty bitty hee 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 came from behind the fish tank, but Sydney was the only one who heard it. During reading time, Sydney noticed something was wrong with the fish. He sneaked to the back of the room and looked into the tank. The leprechaun was swimming to that swim and the fish definitely were not happy. Sydney dove after the leprechaun. Plunk, kerplunk, sploosh, water soaked the table. Sydney ruined our decorations, Della cried when Mrs. Yoder threw away the soggy paper shamrocks. I didn't do it, Sydney said. It was the leprechaun. Sydney was sure he heard a tiny little ha 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 as he mopped up the mess. During science class, Sydney heard a creak, creak, creak coming from the hamster's cage. Sydney tiptoed to the cage. He carefully opened the door and came face to face with the leprechaun. While Sydney and the leprechaun stared at each other, the hamster ran out the open door and across the table. Sydney died after the hamster. Boom, bang, crash. Sydney fell against the table. Juice went everywhere just as the hamster scurried out of sight. Our juice is gone, Della said with a sniffle. So are the decorations and all of our cupcakes. Sydney ruined our St. Patrick's Day party. Sydney was sure he heard a faint tee hee hee from behind the stack of reading books. Nobody believed that Sydney didn't do it. There was only one thing for him to do. He had to catch that leprechaun. At recess, Sydney sneaked past his teacher and ran to the art corner. Everything he needed was there. Sydney pounded and snapped and glued. Perfect, he said when he finished his leprechaun trap. Then he hurried into the lunchroom and looked through the lunch trays until he found a stinky tidbit of corned beef. Sydney carefully reached inside his leprechaun trap with the bait. Just then, his feet knocked into the back of the trap. Swish, cling, sing. Sydney was caught inside. He heard the tippity-tap-tippy of itty-bitty boots. I do believe I've caught a boy that I have, said the leprechaun with a grin. Let me out, Sydney begged. The tiny man scratched under his tall green hat. Now why should I be wanting to do a thing such as that? Sydney thought fast. Come closer and I'll tell you a secret, he said.
secret? I love secrets, said the leprechaun as he inched forward. That's when Sidney made his move. He reached out and tickled the leprechaun right under the chin. Ha ha ha, he he he, ho ho ho. The leprechaun fell down and hit the trap door. The door flew open. Sydney rolled out and pushed the leprechaun inside. Swish, clang, zing. I've got you, Sydney yelled. Now I can prove that you ruined the party, not me. Party, said the little man. I'll make you a deal. Let me go and I'll save the party. Then I'll be gone and you'll never see me again. How can a leprechaun save our party, Sydney asked. With me treasure, of course. Should he keep the leprechaun and prove he didn't ruin everything, Sydney wondered? Or should he let the leprechaun go home and save the party for all his friends? Sydney was running out of time. His class was right outside the door. He had to decide. Quick, tell me where your treasure is, Sydney said. He leaned close and the leprechaun whispered in his ear. Sydney knew a deal was a deal. He opened the trap door and watched the leprechaun climb out. The leprechaun turned one last time and tipped his hat at Sydney. Then the teeny tiny man slipped out the window and was gone. Sydney found the treasure right where the leprechaun said it would be. It was just what he needed to save the party. The class cheered. Even Della Puddington smiled at Sydney. Mrs. Yorder wasn't mad at him anymore even if she didn't quite believe where Sydney got the party supplies. Sydney was finally able to forget all of the trouble the leprechaun had caused. Then Sydney heard something terrible. Excuse me, lad, said a tiny voice from behind Sydney's box of crayons. I'm looking for my brother. Have you seen him anywhere? Let's check for understanding. For more educational resources, visit the Green Chocolate Store on TPT. You can also visit my blog, firstcesarheroes.blog, and follow me on Pinterest at the Green Chalkboard One. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.